And Yasi just decided to rev it right when I was walking next to the muffler. <laughs> I can't stand Look at the way this, he's, this is how you back on a bike. Hands, hands by your ass. This is the structure. You know this is a Volvo floor mat? <laughs> you got problems. Uh. This is probably super close compared to what you guys are normally saying. M50's gone. Didn't sell it. It's destroyed. It's done for. Does it look bad? No, it's not that close. It's not that close. It's really good, actually. Long story short, we got wheels. I lost all the footage. I lost everything. So I'm trying to start this vlog over again so you guys can see them. I don't know how much stuff I'm missing, so we'll just have to go over everything again today. This camera's about to... Okay, we're at the spot, finally. Um, again, we're back. We're at the spot that we shot the photos earlier before we lost all the footage and everything like that, but what I really wanted to show you guys was the wheels since we actually put them on. The whole video that we did was installing the the wheels. I don't know what footage I actually do have. Whatever it is, I just want to show you guys the car with the new wheels on. They are going to be repainted and they are getting new tires, but it looks great right now and it's just awesome for, for photos, especially since we have a kind of like that, the only that thing afternoon is, golden hour. No, I'm in the shadow. You see that? I'm in the shadow. Yeah, that's the problem with having the sun right behind you. So you guys actually saw the preview. It's just beautiful out here. We're running out of daylight, but I at least wanted to show off the wheels and what we got. We haven't been filming much. We've been looking for the camera that is now gone, which sucks. Later. Right now we're about to head to Home Depot. We got to pick up a few things. Not to mention yesterday we broke the stairs. My foot went through the stairs going down them from the front door. So I have to go fix that. We're also gonna get some primer and paint and then we're gonna match with the gloss white of the BMW for that wing because the black wing is just not looking good. At least we can get a couple things taken care of. Not to mention, we also did a review of the things we're gonna be changing on the BMW and which you guys will be able to see. We're probably gonna do that first right before we leave to go to Home Depot. Woo, here we go. My bad. Uh, magic right there. Hold on, before we go, we have to do a review. Now? Yes, yeah, right now, before we leave. Come on. Come on. We already did this, and that's the reason why she doesn't want to yeah, do it. I don't want to do it. Yes, go ahead. This what are we doing? We, but what are we doing to the roof? We're wrapping it. We, what, what are we wrapping carbon. it? Carbon. Doing carbon. Carbon wrap for the roof, because it has a sunroof, we're not going to replace the actual yeah, whole roof. And then we're going to paint this white. And that's what we're going to Home Depot for. We're going to get some paint for this. Down. We're just gonna replace that, right? Get a yep, air diffuser, um, probably change the exhaust. We're gonna paint the tail hook, leave the trim block. Side skirts, we're not sure if we're gonna be able to fix, but we're gonna try to. That fender's okay. Um, getting a new, we got a new hood. We got a new hood yesterday when everything went to hell. Nose panel's okay. Yeah, this nose panel is actually a separate piece right here. Uh, we're gonna probably keep it. We're definitely gonna replace the kidneys. I didn't show it because I lost all the footage, but look at this. Look at this sparkle glitter stuff. We're, we're not. On it. I said unicorn <laughs> on it, but. New bumper. <laughs> yeah, new bumper. That's actually on the way. We ordered a ton of parts, and so that includes. What else? So we're gonna replace this fender because this it's starting to bacon right here, as you can see. And plus, there's a dent. I saw a dent somewhere. Well, this doesn't look too good either, but yeah, I'm not sure about the side screw. What if screen. this just gets like tucked in? That's why, I, well, that's the reason why I want to see if I can actually fix this. Cause I'm not sure where maybe it popped off. Maybe we can remove it and see if we can fix that. So starting from the front, look at this car. Look at these, look at this, look at this fam. Woo! There you go. So what did we, we got, we got a new hood. We got new headlights on the way. We got corner markers on the way as well. We got a new bumper as well. We still need to get the grills. We still need to get the fender because I couldn't find a good one that matches for this car specifically. Side skirts, maybe. We got the wheels as you guys see now. We got new taillights on the way. We got to weld and fix that exhaust until we get a new one. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's janky. Yeah, it broke off the hanger, so we got to fix that. Tires are on the way as well. We ordered those. Oh, that looks good. That's basically what we're doing in this car, basically bringing it back to its real life. We're on the Home Depot, though. I got to fix the, the stairs. I don't know if I showed you guys that. I broke the stairs. My foot went straight through that bottom one. And we're on our way 
to Home Depot to probably wait in line. Let's have a better day. Yesterday really sucked. I can't believe we lost all that footage and I can't let it go. So hopefully the content is a little bit better today. Eventually. What? It's so bright. Decisions, 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 decisions. Mm. Wait, I thought Prime Rose are here. Oh, here. It's one or two. Let's get multiple. Oh, we should have grabbed the cart. Here, you're gonna be up my basket, but white. I need gloss white. Let's go get some clear coat. All right. The poles to the left, the alignment's off. Crystal clear, clear coat. Crystal? Crystal clear enamel. Yes, we know it's spray paint. I just don't have a working gun right now, so we're gonna use regular spray paint in order to fix this thing up. It's gonna be a race car. It's not gonna be a SEMA show car. We're gonna have fun with it. That's the plan. Now we gotta get some wood. Somewhere. For the deck. It's a really long line. All right, got everything we need. All righty, time to go home. Let's get to, get to work. We should go there. Go get some coffee. I don't know if they want to be filmed. If you don't know what that is, you don't get out of your house enough. cleaning the interior of this baby. Previous owner, they had it pretty dirty, I'm not gonna lie. Like they have like coins and it's just sticky all over and, and gross. So I'm gonna start cleaning like crazy and I'll show you guys what I'm using. <laughs> There's Chad. Hi Chad, am I doing good? You guys don't wanna see the deck, so. All right, so I'll show you guys what I have here. Just like Griot stuff, McGuire's, wax gods. I think first I'm gonna do just wipe down everything and then kind of go in with like leather conditioner. Cleaning is going pretty damn well. It looks pretty good in here, pretty clean. I'm liking the seats and everything like that. Now I am gonna try something real quick. I step in here and probably make the floor dirty again. We just cleaned this piece here and we like vacuumed and all that stuff and made this look as, as good as we possibly can on camera. It looks actually pretty good. But I wanted to actually test this stuff out. Now this isn't really a review, this isn't sponsored, but I'm a fan of Meguiar's and so I really wanted to get this in focus. See this Ultimate Black Plastic Restorer. So I'm gonna put a little bit on there. I'm just gonna use a little bit and just see if the plastic would look really good. This is more of like a leather, so I'm not gonna use that, but this plastic piece, probably just this center console and then this area around the shifter. <laughs> shifter. Um, shout out to Wax Gods. We are using your products. The leather cleaner conditioner works great. Yeah, starting off, at least we have this uh, leather cleaner and conditioner. I've never heard of them personally, yeah. but Yossi says that they sponsored Send Off this stuff. I give it a shout out and thank you. I've never seen this stuff work, but I'm about to try it right now. I want to clean up this mess uh, when it comes to this. It's a leather covered. I don't know if it's a real leather or it's a vinyl leather. I really can't tell. I'm not really a fabric expert or anything like that, but seeing how it's pretty faded and kind of has some crack spots and stuff, I want to see how this works. So we'll be able to give you an idea of exactly what this is, but um, they also offer Premier Wheel Cleaner, which I actually used yesterday, but that footage is gone from the last cam from the camera that's now <sighs> rip. Anyways, this stuff actually worked really good with removing brake dust. I was pretty impressed. I really did like it on these wheels. They turned out pretty good. They also have the waterless uh, wash and walks, which is kind of like a like a show car speed shine from Griot's or any sort of like waterless wax and easy cleaner. They have a spray wax as well. So they sent out a pretty decent amount of stuff. But first, we're definitely going to test this out when we use the other side of the rag. And let's just see how it, how it looks. Again, I am not going to... Oh my god, it just squirted <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Premature. So just like the plastic, I'm only gonna use a little bit and just a little placement of areas that I know. That way it keeps track of where you've actually polished and where maybe you haven't polished. This isn't a polish, so I don't know why I keep saying that. 
kind of get it in there. This is a very thin leather, if any leather at all. It may just be a vinyl. Not sure, it also depends what it looks like when it dries. When I do rub it in, it does seem to have all this stuff come out. It does look better for the most part right now, but let's see if it really lasts or if it's just a wet coat kind of look. And who knows, this might be wrong. I might not even be doing this. Might be a vinyl. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at my dog. This is Princess, she's sunbathing. Does the horn work? Don't do it. <laughs> no horn. So I'll be up front. I actually got a, a, um, a package a long time ago. I don't even know. I might actually have it in the garage somewhere. But I'm, I have a sponsorship through Turtle Wax. They sent me a box of stuff. I still haven't even opened because I haven't had the Subaru. But we did have some Turtle Wax uh, leather cleaner and conditioner. And I did do the back seats with it. It's a spray bottle versus a, a bottle application to where you just squeeze it on as you saw. But I want to do a comparison. You guys be the judge. I do like them both. And I did like the, um, the Turtle Wax just as much. So... I mean, a little bit of a comparison between the two. I'll let you guys take a look. Inside is clean, it's time to do the outside now. At least you guys got to see a little bit of comparison between the leather conditioners and what we got, but the interior is looking 10 times better. I wish we did a before and after, but I was busy working on the stairs and honestly we didn't want to kill daylight because it is getting later in the day and we still have a lot more plan to do, but let's at least clean the rest of this up. Nice and clean. I think we're gonna do a couple more things. I really do want to, I, I got fuses for this, so we want to replace all the fuses, but that's boring. So I'll replace all the, all the fuses little bit later. I think we want to take off the front bumper and the hood, paint the wing. Oh, that does look so good though. You want to black out the what? Did you order new turn signals? Yeah. Oh. I got them. Okay. So okay. what's coming in the mail right now is starting from the front. Well, we also looked at this hood. We might be able to just sand this all off and use the same hood that we already have here. We also have another hood that we already bought. It's in the garage. It's black, so we don't know if we're going to use it or not. Headlights are coming. I don't have the kidney grills yet. Front bumper is coming. Corner lights are coming as well, since it's not one piece. We got the original depot headlights. Tires are on their way. We still haven't got a fender yet. Uh, I'm going to try and fix this side skirt here. Side markers are coming in the mail. Tail lights are coming in the mail. We still haven't got a rear diffuser. We still haven't got an exhaust. Uh, we're keeping this rear bumper. We can and probably do some touch up paints on this side scratches seats we haven't ordered yet steering wheel we haven't ordered yet interior lights we haven't ordered yet oh yeah we can get this window back on the track for some reason it's off and it's not sealed so got a little bit of water on the inside of the car when we were spraying it down e36 life it's not bad though we definitely want to paint this probably today prime it get that all ready and take off the front bumper and the hood i'm not exactly sure how to take off a bmw front bumper but the hood should be easy, just a couple bolts. Next thing we're gonna do is take off this wing. Now I know, I know that we actually have a standard bolt that's like right here, which we need to take off. I'm pretty sure there's another bolt on the inside closer. So I'm just gonna take off these pop clips, look on the other side of this and see if there's any other screws. Yeah, there's nothing else holding this on. Holy crap, just these screws. All right, well. That one's enough. Do the other side real quick. And voila, that was it. Two piece slid right off. But look how janky this is. This is scotch tape that was covering this hole, slightly rusted. So we're gonna take a wire brush to that, clean it up a little bit, and then prime it, and we'll recode it. I think there's still some more. What kind of janky mother Look how nasty this is though. Let's wipe this down, clean this up, buff it off. We'll grind this down a little bit, take this off, paint it individually, and then we'll throw it back on when it's ready. We're gonna go move these to the sawhorses. We're gonna brush this off real quick. Looks so much different without the wing. Probably get some polish for this, get these uh, lines out, and then I'm definitely gonna plug these holes and get all this tape off. It's cool, it's cool. It's cool. All right. Look, yeah, they got unicorn <laughs> on this too. <laughs> Pretty bad, huh? Wow. I showed them, I showed them what time it is. Oh and look when it beats us. Oh my gosh, it's 420, I'm 420. Oh my God. Look, you guys. 420 on 
Wing is primed, at least the bottom half is, and the top half. I just got the fresh new coat on there, so it looks like nice and slick and wet. I think I got all the corners and everything like that. It's really working pretty well. Um, keeping distance, trying to go slow with it. But yeah, it looks looks really good soon. This thing will be white. I'm super excited to get this thing back on, and I think we're going to do it today. So I'm going to let this dry, and then we'll get to the white, and then we'll let that dry, and then we'll get to the clear coat. We're going to make it nice and shiny. Hopefully it matches up with the car. On another note, there's still the things that I would like to do besides get that fully painted. I think I'm going to let it kind of cure overnight and probably put it in the garage here. Um, I want to weld on, attempt to weld on the exhaust and try to keep it so it will stay. Especially when there's still some light out, jacking up the car, getting the right angle, and then using some jack stands or something to kind of hold the exhaust in place. That would be one key thing. And then also removing the hood and the front bumper because I think that would look super aggressive, but also because it looks terrible with the front bumper that's on there right now. God, it looks so good clean. It looks so good. Yeah, we gotta get that off. It looks pretty bad. Even the lack of sunlight that we actually have left in the day, I'm probably going to, uh, I'm probably gonna start welding. I'm gonna try and weld. I don't know what I'm doing, but I am trying, well, I know kind of YouTube videos, but I've never done it before. This thing is looking so clean. Look at that shine now. God, so worth the buy. Anyways, going to try and weld this back over to the side so we're not rubbing off and burning off any more plastic onto this pipe. We are going to get a different exhaust tip, probably replace the resonators and the cat. Not exactly sure yet. It's going to take some time. She's excited for that sound. Ooh. So I'm going to start welding and then we'll start taking off the front end pieces, but everything's got to come off today. Well, wish me luck. I got everything set up. Hair on the lens. Okay. Got the gloves. I'm not wearing a long sleeve shirt. Should probably go put a long sleeve shirt on. Everything's set up. Got the welder all plugged in, hooked up to there. We're going to see if we can get this hanger all taken care of. Wish me luck. Okay, I did it. It's not pretty. I'm not showing it. It's not pretty at all. But hopefully, when I drop this and I kick the exhaust a little bit, it won't drop on the ground. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Okay. Didn't drop. Please don't break. I think we're good. Oh, baby. I welded an exhaust and I didn't know what I was doing. It works. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It yeah, until we get a new one. We're definitely getting new tips because that just does not look good. So, ooh, I'm proud of myself. That's that's big thing done. So at least the, the exhaust is welded and it's not going to be hanging or anything like that. Let's go back and paint the wing so that we can get that set while after that we can take off the front end. That'll kill enough time. I can't see this car wingless. Oh yeah, no, that's that's not it happening. I mean, it is clean, but it needs that wing. When it gets that white wing on there, oh, that's going to look real good. Oof, already looks really good. <sighs> it's a good day. I welded something. Hit a leg, because I welded something. I don't know how long it'll last, but I welded something. <laughs> if you guys have ever welded something, tell me your first experience, what was it? Put it in the comments. I really want to know, I really actually want to know. Because mine's an exhaust, and I think that's appropriate, because I'm a car guy, and that's the only reason why I buy a welder. Well, I actually built it, bought it for this stuff, because I have to weld a piece of metal for the seats. Is that white? Yeah. Doesn't look white. It is. Oh. All done. May or may not get another coat on there. These are glossy white, looking really wet. I'm liking it. Clear coat would be next. I'm gonna let this dry probably for about a half hour to an hour. It's a very quick 15 minute dry spray paint, which that's what they say, at least on the labels. But I'm gonna give it at least an hour, if not two hours. The entire time that we need to take off the front bumper and the hood, I'm liking it. Also made a good point. You should probably take a test drive before we take it apart the front end. Um, that way we know that the weld is actually good on the exhaust. So that's what we're actually going to check out right now. But so far it looks good. Sounds good. Woo! This thing looks clean. Oh baby. Just end up back and see if the welds broke. I, I hope they stay. I I did a pretty heavy job, let's just put it that way. Oh shit. She gone. Drive low cars. Mom, what should I do? Go slow. 
slower than that. Damn, you don't know how to drive a lowered car. I'm bad. Yeah, that. clearly. How fast were you going when it started shaking? I mean, it's fine. Well, it's all shaking. Well, it's still. It needs an alignment. It needs an alignment bad, but I mean, and it's still. Tires. And lug nuts. And yeah. <laughs> The truth, I have paint on my lens. My thing back here. This is bad. Mm -hmm. no. Still on. Yeah. We're gonna take out the front bumper, though. Fair front enough. bumper. Yes, we are taking All out right the front now. bumper. Yes, right now. You said no. No, to the hood. You don't uh, listen. Uh, uh, you don't listen. Uh, uh, yes, I'm taking off the no, front bumper. Not. Yes, I am. This is going. I don't know why you're arguing with me. Front bumper list. That thing's got to go anyways. Ugly. And also, I want to see if I can fix the, the side skirts. So, two things. See if the the white's dry after I get the front bumper off. I just got to look up a few things to find out how this thing comes off in the first place. So definitely don't need to get a new side skirt. The side skirt is pretty good condition, but it's the clips that are all broken. This top piece is supposed to hang on to a lip under here. If I can even find one. Yeah, maybe I can... Push it on. I'm not sure. Gotta get new clips though. Just new clips. That's all. I want to take off the front bumper. I want to get this bumper off. I'm gonna see if I can get her to let me. Okay, fine. Yay! Get the get the bumper off. This bumper gonna look like the car's gonna be like this. Yeah, pretty much on the front end. As soon as we get it off, I just gotta get it off real quick. Is that on? Yeah, no. We already What's tested. It horn. The horn. The horn doesn't work. Let me turn on the car. No. Let me turn the on position. Okay, I'm gonna go get Hold stuff. Hold on, let's see if it works. It doesn't work. It would work without the ignition on. It works. F you BMW. <laughs> Bullshit is that. Why do you need the... Never mind. you continue to surprise me that was probably the easiest front bumper removal and headlight removal I've ever done um, so everything's off headlights out that don't work we have broken front bumper now I have to deal with this mess I at least know where the turn signal is on this one which will help me route it and find out which one of these wires used to be the, uh, the turn signal oh actually maybe maybe I think this might be it. This might be our turn signal. I'm gonna put that one all the way to the side here. Uh, these may be our fogs. I ordered a new harness anyways, but it's it's a mess. Found out this is, well, I, I, I knew it was a hose for an intake to cool alternate, but I didn't know what you call that. Alternator cooling hose. What the hell? I just realized this fat, fat zip tie hanging on the radiator. Um, I'm also gonna check a couple other things. Oil, the radiator for coolant, see, See the fluids, just see how everything is and how everything's running. Uh, we may need to get a new MAF. I also need to replace all the fuses, but that's on another day. Today was a way better day. I'm really enjoying that. I'm also gonna throw a clear coat on that rear wing and then we'll get that installed. No reason to see this. Let's just finish the thing up for today. Let me get this taken care of. And done with the clear coat. It's not gonna be perfect. It's got a nice gloss to it. It's gonna be nice and shiny white. So that's done. We just gotta wait for that to dry and then we can actually put it back on the car. I am not really picky or anal about the paint job on that wing. It's probably gonna chip eventually, but it's gonna look good for at least a year, I'm pretty sure. As of right now, I can't think of anything else we need to do besides buy more car parts. See if we can order a few more things. Since we cleaned it, we waxed it, it's just looking really, really, really good. Really shiny. The wheels look awesome on it. I'm really liking it. To the computer. Yeah. Nothing like eBay. <laughs> cheap car gets cheap parts. <laughs> I know, I was looking at these headers and they look pretty dope, but what's the point of getting headers if we may be going turbo? E36, M3, 
front lip splitter. No, no. Mm, this one's kind of aggressive, but I think it's just, I want a one piece. Is this one piece? Are they, no, they're two. What's up? You like that, that steering wheel? I don't wanna just copy that guy's stuff. Not aggressive enough, not aggressive enough. Not aggressive enough. I like this one, but too expensive. I think we at this point with all of these prices we should just get should just get the uh, the Street Fighter one. Street Fighter. No matches, nothing on eBay, nobody's selling it? All right, well, in that case, we'll have to go to Street Fighter E36. Hmm, yeah, I can dig that. Hmm. E36. Body kit? No, she won't let me cut it up. Rear spoiler, we already got one. Front lip, though. 75, I'm pretty sure I can get it cheaper on the import. I don't know, do we like it? Hmm? Hmm? Is this gonna focus? There you go. I don't know. Maybe we don't like it. Do you like it? What? Street Fighter front lip? Not really. No? Well, I guess we're not getting that one like then. Better. Let's look for a different one. Okay, a few parts are probably gonna get ordered. It's taking a little bit of time. I'm gonna get to editing this vlog. I will see you guys later. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. It's a makeup for what we all lost. Rip M50. Good night, guys. Stay humble. Take it I love out. you guys. I'll see you later.